Good morning everyone, I'm Hatma. So welcome to our 9 a.m. Uh, Sunday flow. So it's going to be very uh, energetic flow this morning just to give you a head up. So we're going to do what we, we can, right? We're going to try maybe something new to some of you or maybe something that you always do. But the idea is just we're going to try our best to um, see how it go with the body this Sunday morning, getting ready for, you know, if you have a cookout later with your family for Memorial Day weekend, um, the weather hopefully will be nice uh, everywhere that we will be today and tomorrow too. And for today, listen to the keyword, stay or do a little bit more. That will be something that I might say a lot with option that you can move on uh, if you prefer. So we're going to start the class in mountain pose. So come to the tops of the mat if you're ready. So mountain pose, come to stand. So have your big toe touch and your heel can be slightly apart. And now we want to start to really activate the entire body. So make sure to feel that you really ground down in all corners of your feet. Really feel that that should be uh, to the front, at the big toe, um, now at your little toes and then around the back. And then arm um, out alongside the body now. Try to lengthen the tailbone down. Lengthen the tailbone down, you're not tucking but you want to lengthen down so that you can hug in more to the center like you feel that you start to really activate here your core, your front rib hug in. Imagine you're wearing a corset for the ladies. And then just lift the shoulders up high for a moment. Now we pull the shoulders back and behind, like back and around. Try to really feel that nice and broaden on the collarbone. And I want you to keep this feeling throughout the class. Whenever you go to the, the other position, feel that nice and broaden to the, the collarbone. Be not rounding the back. Now stand tall in mountain. This posture, if you really activate here, you did exactly how I described. You should start sweating in about like a few rounds of breath. Now we're gonna close the eyes and add the breath here. Fire ujjayi spread, breathe in. Exhale out. Just five more rounds of breath here. Inhale. Fire up your breath. Exhale out. Nice and slow, inhale, nothing else losing here, we activate every part of the body. Exhale, up. Inhale. Exhale for three. Give it two more, inhale. Exhale for two. Inhale. Exhale for one. Now inhale, just sweep your arms out and up, palm touch over your head. Interlace your hand, flip the palms open. Now tailbone still lengthen down, lift your chest up, lift up at your upper back here, the thoracic spine, you may lean back just a little bit. Or maybe a little bit more. For those who feel nice and open, your shoulders really open. One more big breath here, breathe in. Now just fall down. Bend the knees a lot for some of you may look like this to allow the fingertips to touch the mat. And some of you may even straight the legs a little bit. Now we want to bring the chest forward and lift. This is a halfway lift. Pull the chest through. The weight come to the toes. Exhale, you fall down. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat your back. Pull the chest through. Exhale to fall. Inhale, half a lift, flat your back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep your arm out and up, reach up, lean back, try back bend once again. Exhale, palm can be together, bend the knee. Fold down. We're gonna do it again. Inhale, half a lift, flat your back. Exhale to fold. One more time, inhale, sweep your arm up. Breathe back, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Now halfway lift, flat your back, and we will step back to a plank position. Step back to high plank. Now we're gonna hold plank for one minute. 
So you can stay just like this. You may lower the knees down if you prefer. So it's gonna be one minute hold, whatever you choose here, with knee down plank or full plank. And for those who get started early, since I mentioned it, you're gonna get a little bit extra. And that's usually a good thing. Push the mat away. Remember that feeling, your collarbone still broaden. Really push to your heel, your belly still pull in here toward the spine. So your back is not sagging at all. Your back's nice and flat, no arch on the back. Wherever you are, make sure to push the mat away with your hands. Look down at the space between your hands and breathe. Keep pushing the mat away. And then lower your knees, lower your chest, lower your chin down. Slide your heart forward. Now your hand should be a little bit like underneath the shoulders. Try to pull the hands back to be underneath the elbow. And then squeeze the elbow into the side body. And then peel your chest, lift up. Use your back muscle and here to activate to squeeze the shoulder blade in toward your spine, baby cobra, and then maybe float the palms up above your mat. Look at the tip of the nose, don't hurt your neck, don't crunch the neck. Hold it here for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Hands down, sit back to chai pose. Your first child pose, knowing that you can always come back to rest in child pose with the knees wide, or some of you who want to stretch out the back to knee can be together, you can grab the heel or you can reach the fingertip forward. Whatever child pose that works for you. And then inhale, come forward. We're going to come to table top. Now move your hands back a little bit in table top, move your knees about an inch forward to set up so the knees stay underneath your hip. We're gonna tap the toes. Now, over your knees, just about one inch above the mat. Same thing, you wanna broaden to the collarbone. You wanna push the mat away. Your core really activate here to hold the knee up. And then breathe in and out through the nose. Maybe a little bit browning on the back here is totally fine. Give it three more rounds of breath here. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. And then send your hips up to downward facing dog. As you exhale to down dog, send your tails high. Your first down dog, bend the knees really deep here, bend the knee deep, try to bring your uh, belly and the chest closer to the thighs. And then some of you can reach the heel closer to the mat and send your tailbone up higher. Out the arm bone, grab back. It's an upside down V shape. Your belly pull in. Maybe look at your belly button or you can look at the space between your feet. Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, reach the heel toward the mat. And then inhale, lift your right leg up high, three leg dog. Try to keep your hips square here. You can flip, you can point your right toes a few times. Point the toe, flick the foot, poise the toe, flick the foot. Now lift your left heel up high, point the right toe. Inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders away your wrist. You can even kiss the knee. Inhale, straight back out, three the down. Exhale, right knee, tap high to the right tricep. Inhale, shoot the legs back high, three the down. Exhale, cross the right knee underneath the body, tap your left elbow. Don't let the right hip drop. 
Inhale to turn the legs back. Knee back to nose, maybe knee touch the forehead this time. Land the right foot neck to your right thumb. Straighten the right leg at any amount that your body allows. Left heel high, elongate the spine. Grab your blocks and your dams if you need. Stay for another round of so breath right here. Breathe in. Exhale out. Rebend at the right knee. Palm flat down. Try to lie up the heels of the hands and the heel of your standing foot. You block if you need. We're going to float your left leg up. Quick standing split. Palm still flat on something. Left foot meet right top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, lean up and back. Exhale, fold down. Half a leg, flat your back. Now from here, step your left foot all the way back to the back of the mat. So option, we're going to stay here, let hand stay down. Left knee can be down if you need or keep it up. Right arm reach up, twist open so easy simple to twist we're gonna take it to side plank on the left forearm stack your right foot on top of the left so you can stay here you can modify any version if you need to modify moving on lift the right leg up reach the right arm up this is your inhale exhale crunch in knee and elbow touch inhale exhale Inhale, exhale. Two more, just like that. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Now, forearm plank. Hands in the legs together, forearm plank. Collarbones still broaden. Inhale, rock forward. Try to tap the nose to the thumb. Exhale to rock back. Inhale, rock forward, nose to thumb. Exhale to rock back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, rock back, pause, still nice and tight. Two more, inhale, nose to thumb. Exhale, rock back. Last one, inhale, nose to thumb. Exhale, rock back. Walk your feet closer to the elbow, dolphin. Look back at your feet, feel the lip here in the shoulders and move the shoulders back. Feel that nice stretch on the shoulder. Hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then try pose when you're ready to move on. A quick set, uh, uh, reset here in chai pose. Breathing in. Now back to down dog as you exhale. Come back to downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Flake and point your left foot a few times. Now point the toes. Inhale. Exhale, round in knee to nose. Inhale, shoot the legs back. Exhale, let me let right set. Inhale to twist the leg back. Leg high. Don't let the left hip drop. Cross the left knee, tap the right elbow. Inhale, go back. This time, knee to nose. Maybe knees touch your forehead. Try your best. Land the left foot neck to your left arm straight. Your left leg and the amount elongate the spine. Right heel high, left hip move back, right hip move forward, one full round of breath, inhale, exhale up, rebend at the left knee, a little bit to push your hand flat down, now you float your right leg up, a quick standing split, right foot mid left top of the mat, forward fold, inhale root to rise, in the legs of hand together, flip the palms up. We're going to lean to the right, look up underneath your left armpit. Feel that stretch on the side body. Inhale back to center. 
Exhale, lean all the way to the left. Inhale, back to center. And then forward fold, bow. As you exhale. Halfway lift, flat your back. Step your right foot all the way back. So right knee can be down or up. Right hand stay. And then we're gonna lift your left arm up. Easy, simple twist. One more big breath here. Breathe then. Carefully bring the right forearm down. And you find your side plank on the right forearm. Any variation you did before. Moving on with me. Lift your hip up. Lift your left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, knee and elbow connect. Inhale to extend it out. Exhale, knee and elbow touch. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Right away, forearm plank or dolphin. This is your choice. So maybe dolphin, you tiptoe your feet closer. The closer is going to be the harder. Now inhale, we're going to try to rock the nose to tap the feet or the thumb. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, rock back. Nose to thumb, whatever from forearm plank or dolphin. Exhale, back. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, back. One more. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, back. Hold your dolphin. Hold your forearm plank. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. And then a child pose. If you don't need a child pose, you may take a forearm stand. If you prefer, you may stand down dog. Child pose here, gather your breath. Breathing in. Back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, point the toes, inhale, exhale, knee to nose, round your back right away, maybe aim the knees and your forehead to touch. Land the right foot through, come to your fingertip. And you can be here, we're gonna stay here for 10 count. You can be on your fingertip in this low lunge position. And you're gonna hop so with the feet, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Land with your right foot forward. We're gonna slowly rise all the way up to high crescent. So push your left heel back, pull the right hip back, and then arm rise. Now cut the arm, lean back. Hand can be behind your head if you prefer. We're just going to find nice heart opening here. And if you need to modify, you drop the left knee down. And this is work as well. Do what works for you. Shoot what your body can respond to it. And then hands come behind your head. Inhale. Sing a little bit lower. Exhale, curl your left elbow to touch your right knee. Inhale, lift up. Arm rise, exhale, hand come down. Step back to plank. And we're gonna drop the knees down, move your shoulders forward. Bend the elbow, hug into the side body. Modify, push up, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Slide your heart forward, upward facing dog, downward facing dog as you exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. Lift your left leg up, point the toes, inhale, three-legged dog. Knee to nose, aim the knee to your nose, to the forehead. Land your left foot too. Stay low, chest lift, or hop so with. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, 
One, land with your left foot forward. I'm going to slowly rise up, high crescent, take it to back bend. Make sure tailbone lengthen down as you lean up and back, up and back, up and back. Come back to center, hand behind the head, inhale. Exhale, right elbow, curl, tap your left knee. Inhale to lift up, arm rise. Exhale, hand come down, shift the shoulders forward before you step back to plank. Knees can be down or up, shoulder move forward. Elbow hug into the side, body hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Slide your heart forward, upward facing dog or cobra if you need to modify to do a little bit less. Down dog as you exhale. Breathing in. Now, breathing out. Bring your feet together. Bend the knee deep. Look forward. Step, step. Or float both feet to land between your hands. Forward, forward. As you exhale, send your arms behind your back. Keep the legs your hands. Send your fists over your head. And then keep this hand variation. Start to bend the knee for chair pose. You peel your chest open up. And maybe you add on. You lift the heels high. And you sink down a little bit lower. Your fists move back. As your knee bend, your chest pull through. One more big breath here. Breathe in. Heel release. Fold. Hand come down. As you exhale. Now inhale, we're going to find regular chair with the arm forward to bend the knee deeper. Come down, come down until you land into Navasana board pose. It can mean that you pull the knees in, lift your chest up, use your hand to help. Hand can be behind your back or you extend the arm or you can extend the legs as well. Hand come to prayer. We're going to go twist to the right, back to center. Twist to the left, center, right for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet down, come right back to chair. Maybe you block, sit out. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat your back. You may jump back to the ranga. Or step, step. Push up is optional. Take it or leave it out. Go through the floor. Up dog, cobra. Downward facing dog as you exhale. And we're going to move more of the breath movement here. Lift the right leg up as you inhale. Exhale, step the right foot neck to the right thumb. Inhale, you're going to rise all the way up to high crescent. Bring your hand behind your head. Exhale, curl your left elbow to tap the right knee. Inhale to open right back up, reach your arms up. Exhale, hand come down, straight the right leg just for a moment, elongate the spine. Inhale to re-bend the right knee, step back, find your plan. Push up is optional. Inhale to upward facing dog, down dog. As you exhale, breathe in, left leg, leg, point at home. Exhale, step your left foot through. Inhale, rise up, high crescent. Hand behind your head. Exhale, right elbow. Tap your left knee. Inhale to reach back up. Exhale, hand come down, elongate the spine, left leg straight for a moment. Inhale, re-bend the left knee, step back to plank, exhale, push up. Inhale to upward facing dog, downward facing dog as you exhale. And pause here, stay here in down dog. Some of you may walk your feet halfway to the hand. Have your shoulders there above your wrist. Just lift the heels high like this, the closer your feet to the hand is going to be the harder. Or you can hop. 
Heel to sit bone five times. Four, three, maybe a little bit of the hand time. Two, and then one. We're gonna meet back in downward facing dog whenever you're ready to move on. Keep your feet together, bend the knees, look forward. Step, step, or hop both feet between the hands. Forward fold, arm behind your head. The other thumbs on top, the one is feel a little bit awkward. And inhale to find your chair, keep this up. And maybe lift the heels up high. Bend the knee even deeper. The heels high, your fist move back, your chest pull through. You should feel really tighten up the core here. One more big breath here. Breathe then. Heel release. Forward fold. Hand come down. Exhale. Inhale to your chair. We're going to take this chair to your board once again. So modify your board if you need. Exhale. Chest lift if you can. And then from here we're going to move. Inhale. Lower down. Half board. Exhale, contract, lift up. Inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, exhale. Last two, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Feet down, find your chair. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, flat your back. Jump back or step back. You can take the floor, you can skip it, you can do a knee chest chin. And we're going to meet back in downward facing dog. From down dog, lift your heels high. Rock forward to plank position. Take five cows to go all the way down to the belly. Five, four, three, two, one. Forehead down, rest one cheek on the mat. Send your arm alongside your hip. Turn the palms down. Forehead back to the mat. Lift your head and your shoulders up. Think about using your back muscle. Shoulder blades squeeze in toward one another, the back of the neck long. Maybe your palms float up. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Hand underneath your elbow, tuck the toe, knees can be down or up. Push straight up to plank in one piece or modify plank and then downward facing dog as you exhale. Breathing in, in your down dog. Breathing out. Right leg lift, point the toe, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, round it. Inhale, shoot the legs back. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Hold the knee there, a push up or exhale two. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to shoot the leg back. Exhale, right foot, right thumb. Inhale to rise up high, press and move with your breath. Hand behind your head. Exhale, left elbow tap the right knee. Inhale, lift back up. This time, bring the weight to your right foot. Come to stand. Bring the left knee up about hip high. Inhale, exhale, right elbow curl. Tap the left knee. Inhale, back up. And then exhale, send the leg through. Inhale, step back, arm rise, high crescent. Exhale, hand come down, step back, plank. Push up is optional. Inhale to upward facing dog. Down dog as you exhale. So breathing in. Breathing up. Left leg lift up. Inhale. Exhale knee to nose. Inhale to it back. Exhale left knee left tricep. Hold the knee and push up and exhale two for five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, shoot the legs back. Exhale, left foot, step through. 
Inhale to rise, high crescent hand behind your head. Exhale, right elbow tap your left knee. Inhale, lift it right back up. Exhale, pull the right knee in and come to stand on your left foot. Inhales again. Exhale, curl your left elbow to tap the right knee. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, track the leg through. Slowly, as you inhale, step all the way back, arm rise. Exhale, hand come down. And then step back, go to the floor. And right to find downward facing dog at your own pace. Now you can pause in down dog. You can take a chai pose if you need, or you can take that five hop once again. I don't know why all my sweat here, that's my choice. So you choose what works for you in this five breath. I'm gonna continue similar to that with option, like I said, listen to the cue and you can do more, you can do less. Move slower if you have to. Come back to downward facing dog when you're ready to move on. From down dog, bring your hand just a touch about maybe um, about an inch closer to one another. So we narrow the hands a little bit. Bend the knee deep. You either step, step, feet outside the hand, step back to down dog, or you bend the knee, hop your feet outside the hand, land soft, no soft. We're gonna do it five times total. So whenever you're ready, if you did already, you get extra. So five, four, three, two, and land right in squat in one. Come sit in squat, or you may take crow pose for some of you who want to work on your arm balance to take your crow, crow to tripod headstand, Crow to handstand for some of you. I see you guys did it before. If you that person to show up today, do that. Whatever speed your soul right here. Find the joy in the practice. If you need to kind of slow the heart rate down a little bit, because it's kind of very energy uh, thick fall here. Sit with me in support position. One more big breath here, breathe in wherever you are. We're gonna fly down dog. Crow, you may shoot back. Squat, straight the legs. Bring your feet to touch and go to the floor. You can, or you can just step, step. Right to downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, throw the legs back. Exhale, right knee high, right upper arm. Inhale, to throw the legs back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, keep the right hip high. Inhale, throw the legs back. Knee to nose, land the right foot through. Breathe in as you rise up, hand behind your head. Exhale, left elbow, tap the right knee. Inhale to lift up, try to move more with the breath movement. Exhale, stand on the right foot, right elbow tap the left knee. Inhale, big step back, high crescent. Exhale, hand come down, step back, take the floor. Inhale to upward facing dog, down dog as you exhale. Breathe in, left leg lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, to the legs high. Exhale, left knee, left, dry set. Inhale, to the legs back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, to the back. Exhale, step the right foot too. Inhale, rise up high, crescent hand behind the head. Exhale, right elbow, tap the left knee. Inhale to lift up, we come to your left foot as you bring the right knee up. Exhale, left elbow tap the right knee. Inhale, big step back, high crescent. Exhale, hand come down and go to the floor. Down dog is where we meet. 
Breathing in. Breathing out. Lift the heels high, rock forward to plank. This time, take about 10 counts to go all the way down to the belly for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Arm down alongside the hip, palm pressing down. Head and shoulders lift, maybe palms up, maybe leg lift too. Look at the tip of the nose, back muscle is fired up here. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release, hand alongside your floor the rib. Tuck the toe, press up plank or knee down plank. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bring your hand a touch closer to one another again. Narrow the hand. Bend the knee. Look forward. Hop your feet outside the hand. Five. Hop back or step, step. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And come to a high squat. Fingertip reach forward. Tailbone reach back. You're gonna slowly think about pulsing here. Your knees like then you lift your hip up and down. Two rounds of ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Knee forward, toe forward, two, one, last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, hand down, straight your legs. Bring your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway leg. Exhale, you may bend the knee at your four. Inhale, halfway leg, flat your back. Exhale, you may bend the knee as you four. Inhale, halfway leg. This time, step your left foot all the way back to the back of the mat. We're gonna step up for warrior two. From the gal up, cargo up. Land right in warrior two. Inhale, flip the right palm reverse. Exhale, extend the side angle, modify. Inhale, reverse, make it with the breath movement. Exhale, right forearm to thigh, left arm straight over the ear. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Energize it, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, and then exhale. Stay here or go deeper. Hand go on the inside, hand go on the outside. You have a half bite, you have a full bite. You may take it. And three breath, inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale one, keep the body if you have it to fight bow watch and the park moon. So how to do that? You're gonna really lean forward so much so your right knee is stepping. Core engage to slowly float the left leg up. You need block for your half moon, you do that. Easy to fall out here when you bind your hand. Just come right back up if you fall. Transfer the weight more forward to lift the back leg up. And now we're going to slowly release out from wherever you are and bend the right knee deeper to step back in warrior two. Now straight the right leg. Use your hand to pull your right hip back. Left hip move forward about 10 degrees. It will help you to reach and hinge from the hip. Keep the side weight long for triangle pose. You may keep uh, your hands on the outside. You may put your blocks underneath the hand. Try to really grow your side weight. Squeeze the shoulder blade into one, one another. One more big breath here. Breathe then. Left hand come down. Pyramid pose. So five pyramid pose. 
bump your left foot in and up a few inches to square off your hip and fold over the straight right leg you feel open left cheek can blend outside your right shin bone you feel like really tight you grab more and you can lift up halfway like this is still considered pyramid pose And then lift up. We're gonna find warrior three from here. Big option to not do the blocks if you prefer to just challenge yourself. You need block, block gonna be underneath the hand. Float your left leg up. No blocks, hand in prayer, arms alongside, arm forward for harder expression. Hold it for five, four, three, two, standing split. You can stay, you can take a few hop. If you prefer to work to what your handstand, this is a good time. Or you want to work on your balance, you grab the ankle with one or with both hands. Now feet together, top of the mat, take a forward fold as you exhale. Inhale halfway, lift flat your back. Now step the right foot all the way back. We're gonna find warrior two from the ground up. So come up to warrior two. And I'm like sweating like crazy. I have to sweat off my sweat again. Find warrior two first. And we're gonna move. Bend the left knee, flip your left arm reverse. Exhale, left forearm to thigh, right arm reach over the ear. Move with your breath four more. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, left forearm to thigh, right arm over. Inhale. Exhale. Last two, inhale. Exhale. Give it one more, inhale. And exhale, we're gonna stay. And you go deeper to your variation, whatever you did before. Three more breaths here, inhale. Exhale three, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale one, look down to find your version of half moon. So for your bow half moon, make sure your left toes stay 12 o'clock, reach the crown of your head forward so much to float the right leg up and both sides and feel totally different. Concentrate on how you breathe. Core engage here, right foot nice and flat. And then slowly come out a bit. We're gonna float back, land soft in warrior two. Push your right hip forward. Left hip back and you straight your left leg. Hinge from the hip, left arm forward. Left hand come down. Right arm reach up for triangle. Your version. You block if you need, try to squeeze in toward one another. One more big breath here, breathe in. And then both hands come down. Bump your right foot in and up for pyramid pose. We're gonna be here for about three more breaths. Maybe cross the right shin bone, uh, right shin over. Rest outside your left leg. Inhale, come back and slowly find your way to your warrior tree. So you bend the left knee, you may grab your block, you may go back to whip, uh, whatever variation of your arms, hips square. Your chest still lift here, hold it for five, four, three, two, standing split. Your version, same thing like you did on the other side. So for those who love handstand, your time to play here. And if you feel too much, you can always 
come find a forward fold at the top of the mat to wait. Give it one more big breath here, breathe in. Now feet together, top of the mat, forward fold, bend the knees a lot. Try to send your palms underneath your feet. Padahastasana here, you on your hands so much, give your wrist a good massage here. One more big breath here, breathe in. And then release out a bit. Bring your feet to touch. Inhale, find your chair hold. Chair. Sit lower, sit lower, sit lower all the way to your board. Flex your feet. Same thing, you may lift up. Use your hand to help, you may hold on underneath the knee. Straight the legs, you may feel that it's easier to straight the legs now. And rise up. And frame the ear for more intense. Hold it here for five, four, three. The structure is real here too. And one, feet down, come right back to chair. Go all the way up to stand. Now arm down alongside your body like a tall mountain where we start. Hands on the hip, separate your feet as wide well as the width of the mat. Bring your palms together and push the prayer, your hands into one another. Reach your prayer up, inhale, exhale, just bend the knee, prayer come back to the chest. Now inhale, straight the legs all the way up, exhale to lower, inhale, exhale for eight, inhale, exhale for seven, inhale, Exhale for six, inhale, exhale for five, inhale up, exhale down for four, inhale, exhale for three, inhale, exhale for two, inhale, exhale for one. Bring your hands down, straight the legs, bring your feet to touch. Halfway lift flat your back. Exhale to fold. And then we're just gonna come down on the knees and bring your heels back. And from here we're gonna go to camel pose. Uh, you can also find your blocks to help set it up alongside your feet. I'm, not, I'm gonna have it here just to show you. Now have your feet just about two feet width apart. You can bring your feet to slide to set up. So make sure your knees are not sway out too wide. Now we're gonna come sit on the knees and tuck the toe. If you know that you're really tight, you keep your toe tucked. Have your block right here. Make sure your hip stay forward, not back. You don't wanna crunch into the lower back. Imagine you have a back pocket. You want to slide the hand into the back pocket. So you kind of push your hips forward. So squeeze the elbow in and then lift your chest up. Great place to be here. It can be a lot already. Maybe, maybe you reach the hand. See where you can touch up. You have your blocks here, you grab your block. Another block here, this is good too. And if you can, Reach the heel, you reach the heel. If you feel a little comfortable here, untap the toe. But nothing change, your hips still stack above the knee. And you lift the chest up. One more big breath here, breathe in. Come out a bit. And then just sit back down for a moment. And we're gonna do it again. So for those who, you know, new to this, go back to what you just did and do that one more time. And some of you who want to take it for a transition, you're going to keep your toe tucked. Now bring your hands in prayer. We're going to try to transition from a uh, camel into full wheels. So hand in prayer, you lift your chest up. Push your hip forward, lean back so much until you see the wall. Put your hand down as you push that. 
with your feet and then you lift up into full wheel. Put the chest through and you straight the up. And you hold it. So when you're in camel, you stay in camel. For those in full wheel, hold it. Now you're gonna transition out of it. Come back out the way you went in, hands come to prayer. And then bring your seat down to the heel. And then neutralize here just for a moment. And now third time is a charm. So we'll kind of build up, right? We'll do one more. And we're gonna stay for about five breaths this last round. So wherever you are, move on or not. So try not to go backward. Try something to feel more open. Hand in prayer. Toe tap. Lift up. Lean back. Push up into full wheel. Straight the arm. Hold it here. Make sure not to hold the breath. And then slowly lift the heels as you come out of it. Come back out the way you went in. This time, bring your knees together. Have your block nearby you will sit. We're going to stretch out the back by bringing your feet together, knee together, this high pose variation. Neutralize the spine, forehead on the block. Hand grab the heels. Block can be lower. You don't need a block. You don't have to use it. Now everyone come sit with your legs out in front of you. Bring your left leg straight, right foot gonna come in closer to the groin, left foot stay nice and flat. Arm rise up, either fall over the straight left leg, or Janu Shrisasana, left thumb turn down, right arm sweep up and over, and look up underneath the right armpit. Then we're gonna be here. Three more breaths. And slowly come out of it. So we side. Right leg straight, left foot in, right foot flat. Fold over the straight right leg or Janu Sushasana. Slowly come out of it. Feet together like a diamond shape. Lift your chest up and then grab your feet like you open the book. You can use your towel, you can have your block. Your block can support your forearm at any height. You use the towel on your feet, you can come lower forehead down. And now slowly lift up. We're gonna straight the legs up. Pachi Motanasana. Lift your hips up. Send your tail back a little bit. Flex your feet. Send your arms up. Reach forward. Use that same towel. If you cannot catch your feet, make a loop here. And keep your chest lift up. You feel open. Block can be placed in front of the feet. Grab the block. Forehead down. No forcing here, just slowly moving into the space that your body allows you. Your knee closer to one another, your knee can be a little bit uh, soft here, so you're not locking the joints. And 
and then slowly come out so we lift up have your blocks nearby you may use later come lay down on your back and then glide the knees into the chest as you lay down grab the outside of your feet find a happy baby you may rock side to side pull the knees in nice and tight we're gonna drop both knees to the left side but try to keep your torso in the center so move your hip to the right if the knees don't doesn't touch the mat you can place block underneath the knee right arm out so we want to keep the right shoulders down your blocks if you need to bring the mat up higher simple supai toes inhale back to center we're going to take the toes to the other side you can put blocks underneath the knee to bring the mat up Blocks or no block, you decide. Come back to center, pull the knees in, give yourself a big squid here, big loving hug. If you prefer an inversion before you end the class, you do that can take three, five minutes inward if you prefer to at the comfort of your own home or if you're ready to rest, extend the arms out over your head, extend the legs out, full body stretch you can also place your blocks underneath the knees here to so keep the knees slightly bent the upper end of your feet rest down or you can put something soft like a roll blanket or if you have extra mat you set it underneath the knee that feels really good or a bolster you have access to that use it for your advantage arms out alongside the body and find your final resting pose shavasana so no more control of how you breathe here allow the mind to close allow your arm Allow your eyes to close, so your mind gonna close down, quiet down too, and then allow your body to fully rest. So now it's time to rest, and it should feel amazing to get to rest right now. And if you need to rest and stay longer in your Shavasana, feel free to rest and stay. You're ready to move on. You make a small movement. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Roll your ankles and your wrists. Bring your arms overhead. Take a full body stretch. Deep inhale to the nose and then open your mouth. Exhale to empty out. Bring the knees in, roll both knees to one side, make a pillow there. Rest more if you prefer or come up to sit when you're ready to move on. Eye close or soft gate here, bring your palm to touch. Bow the head down, have a wonderful the rest of the day, the rest of the long weekend. Happy Memorial Day everyone. Namaste. And I see my sister is here, I can't even put my glasses on, I sweat too much. <laughs> Hi, Em. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Day. And hi, Eric. Uh, nice to see you guys joining. Hi, Apple. I'm glad you get to use your mat. <laughs> and uh, tonight I am subbing at PowerFlow uh, 6 p.m. You want to join me. So I'm going to say bye now so I can save this class for later. Thanks so much, Tracy, for your kind words. Love you guys. Bye-bye.